Before we can start our episode of CNT, quick word from our sponsors. The Ever Arts are an amazing organization and it's a really fun time to go watch games. And so I highly recommend going and getting tickets because I every time I do a game, I have a blast. Great place, great environment. Highly recommend. So make sure you check out the Ever Arts. Hi, I'm your host, Justin Yormark, and this is the CNT Podcast. Enjoy this week's episode. This week I have Memorabilia Madness 27. Thank you for having me, Justin. I'm very excited. Uh, and one quick announcement before we jump into this episode is the owner of Cards and Talk, Card Collector 99, has recently put out his online newspaper that will be coming out every Saturday, so make sure to check it out each Saturday morning to read these articles about the card community. So this week, me and Memorial Madness are going to show some of our favorite cards that we have. I'll go first with my Travis Toon collection. As you know, he I he came on the podcast for an interview a few months back at a game. One of amazing. You guys absolutely loved it. Did start around 175 views meant so much to me that it did so well. And so he sent me a signed card. That's really cool. But then he also sent me a ball that signed that he wrote. That's a really cool piece there. Yeah, they wrote thanks for having me on the show. Which is really cool to me. And it was like from minor leagues. I don't know if it's game used, but like it's like an official ball from the minor leagues. He, then he also sent me game one cleats that he also signed. Yeah, that's that's a pretty cool piece. I mean, you don't usually see many players like, send around cleats like that. Just kind of like, well, it's pretty cool that you were able to get a piece like that. Yeah. Amelia Madness 27 is going to show off some of his, one of his cards he's chosen. Alright, so one of my first favorite cards is the Billy the Marlin mascot. Uh, I've been a Marlins fan for a few years now. I go to lots of, a few of the games, and you don't really see much mascots have such a cool costume like Billy. Um, usually not many people like mascot cards, but I'm kind of into that stuff, so this is one of my favorites that I keep around, and it's pretty cool to have, so... Yeah, I I personally really like the mascot cards. I feel like yeah. they're a really unique touch to some cards. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. So it's it's this one is from uh, this year's um, opening day. I actually got this um, probably like last week. So it's pretty cool to be able to add this to the collection. And I'm going to try to add an autograph um, next spring training and then get him to sign this. That'll be a pretty cool touch. Yeah. Um, so I go to a lot of Manners games. I'm a main Cubs fan, but I moved out to Seattle. I go to a lot of Manners games. And so um, when I go to draft cards, I usually take like a binder. Okay. And I actually have the Manners move sign my binder. Oh, that's yeah. sweet. And you so, have it? huh? You I still have it? Yeah, I put all my Manners base cards in the one that he signed. And so I feel like it's just a really cool touch. Yeah, it's really cool. Uh, another card that I have is my Ozzy Albies postseason relic auto out of twenty five. This is one of my most high end cards. I'm more of a mid to low end collector. I don't have a ton of high end cards unless you go and look at my PCs. Like, most of my mist that I trade and sometimes sells more, like, low to mid. But this is one of my few high ends. And I really like it. I had to give up quite a bit for it, though. Definitely worth it, though, for such a cool piece like that, especially from the postseason. Yeah, it was definitely worth it. Yeah, for and sure. And I, I totally do not regret making the trade, but it did give up a lot of things. Well, I mean, sometimes you got to give up lots of stuff that you like to get one card that you really like. So yeah. sometimes it's really worth it. The biggest piece that I missed that I traded was my Dansby Swanson relic. Oh, but, yeah. Dansby Swanson's pretty good. I was a fan yeah. of him when he was at Vanderbilt. I'm a huge fan of Swanson. I've just always liked him, but I feel like I had to give it up for the Aussie. Yeah. So my second favorite card in my collection is going to be a Tim Anderson Beckett graded nine five ten Bowman Sterling rookie autograph. Um, I'm a White Sox fan. I'm from Chicago. Go lots of games. I just love Tim Anderson at shortstop. He makes tons of good defensive plays. Great bat flips. Just really cool card to have around in the collection. And for a fan like me, this is something cool to keep for a while. So 
definitely yeah. a fan of Tim Anderson. And yeah. Definitely the second best shortstop in Chicago. Yes. I'd say first, but... Uh-huh. I don't know. Baez is amazing on defense. I will yeah, say I... he is a bit overrated on offense. He's amazing on offense, but people do sometimes overrate him. But he is amazing. Top 10, in my opinion, for sure. Yeah. Um, this is probably my best, uh, uh, non-PC card. Probably one of my best cards in general is my Fernando Tatis Rising Stars 1 of 1. Oh, that's really sweet. Is that yeah. autographed or? Uh, it's not autographed, but I was back in Illinois visiting family, and I went to, like, two card shops to see what they were like in... Chicago, because when I moved, I moved before I got really into collecting, and I found this guy for only like sixty-five dollars, I think, and then it was recently my birthday, so I could afford it, and I just had to have it. Yeah, it's definitely a cool card. I mean, you look at Tatis right now. I mean, he's just a rising star. I mean, something like that's gonna definitely start to go up in value. Yeah, he is really well. He's really yeah. good. Definitely glad to have it. All right, so my third and last favorite card is going to be this Christian Yelich autograph out of Heritage. It's out of 70. It's going to be a red autograph. I actually got this. It was a lot. This card uh, I picked up last year at the card show. I um, traded um, a Luka Doncic relic and got a Lamar Jackson auto that then traded for this Christian Yelich. I wasn't – I'm a Ravens fan, so I love you, um, Lamar. But, I mean, when you see a cool Yelich like this, I mean, you really can't pass it up. I have some um, – probably going to submit this thing through a BGS, maybe get an RCR'd may even send it to get hard slab, but I don't know what's to call me after this card, but definitely will be staying here for a while, so. Yeah, I fully agree. I feel like Yelich, you just can't pass up. Yeah, you can't. It's just so cool. Okay. My next card is actually my Christian Yelich auto. I like yours a bit better, but same thing. Like, I saw it at my local card show, and I had to get it out of 181. Yeah, you really one. can't pass up on Yelich. You really can't. I mean, this was this after he won MVP, and I'm pretty sure it was, like, 30. Like, I got an absolute steal for it. Yeah. And I just, like, had to have, like... I. It's hard to pass up on Yelich. Yeah, I agree. Even when he's on Brewer, and I'm a Cubs fan, like, it's hard to pass up on someone like Yelich. Yeah, I agree. Alright, so my next favorite card is going to be this Eloy Jimenez, just like the bobblehead back here. This Eloy Jimenez Rated Prospect Optic Auto. Um, again, I'm a Sox fan. I won this on Instagram back in the four-way from Gravy Cards. Uh, I have some big plans for this card. Um, I'm going to send this out to PSA. It looks pretty good. So this should get a 10, and Eloy's going to have a really good year. So just everyone that's watching this, go subscribe and buy Eloy. So pretty good buy right now. Yeah, I'm a huge Eloy fan. I recently actually did a four-way for one of my rookies of him, but I have another one. And yeah. I made a good amount on it. Like, he he's hot right now, and it's pretty easy to, like, sell Eloy cards right now, especially rookies or autos. Yeah. He's a hot pr product right now. My next card is my Mike Trout All-Star Game Relic. Another one of my good um, non-PC cards. I actually pulled this myself out of a hobby box. So, here's a funny story. So, um, it was last year. Um, I had just went to my local card shop. It's when I got the Yelich. I have also got a box of cards to pull. A hobby box. And so, I was doing my Fantasy Baseball League draft. And I was just pulling cards. And I just pulled this, mid, like, mid-draft. And I was kind of freaking out. Because, like, just mid-draft, and I pull a Trout All-Star Game Relic. Did you end up drafting Trout, or no? Oh, uh, no, I had, like, the 11th pick, I think. Oh, so you did not get Trout. I had no chance at Trout. Yeah, he's definitely a first or second. Yeah. All right, so my next favorite card is this Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Don Ross Rookie Auto. Um, this is another really good rookie that everyone should... Goodbye right now. This is from 2019 Baseball. Um, 
I think Vladdy, he's going to follow in his dad's footsteps, have a very, very successful career. I mean, he's on the Blue Jays. They got a really good young core. Cal- Cal- Calvin Biggio, they got Bichette. I mean, Vladdy. Blue Jays are going to be really good in a few years and be real World Series contenders. What do you want for that card? I need it. I don't know about that. I'm, I'm really a fan of Vladdy. I mean, I'm probably going to buy a few more, but we'll figure it out. I love Vladdy, and, like, I'm always seeing Vladimir Guerrero Jr. autographs up for, like, not, like, insane, like, around 30 to 40. And I always yeah, want to buy one. For 45 bucks. Yeah, so I, wanna, I always want to buy one, but I'm saving up for a huge trip that I'm going on in June. And so I, I've never been able to. Well, if it doesn't get canceled, I'm supposed to... It's a huge history trip for my 8th grade class. We go to New York, Philadelphia, Gettysburg, and D.C. Oh, that's sweet, dude. And so I actually want to get, like, a baseball card pack from each place and see which place has the best pack look. Oh, that would be really cool. Yeah. Even though... The, probably gonna have the same path luck everywhere but hopefully it doesn't get canceled but if it does i would get a lot of my i had to pay for a portion of it with my own money so if it does get canceled i definitely buy a few vlads yeah for sure okay my next card is one of my best pc cards that's not for trade or for sale ever is my dreadmatic certified auto psa certified I absolutely love this card. It's Dread Maddox. He was one of the first old Cubs, amazing Cubs that I went and out and got. So I've been trying to get all of like the main old Cubs. So I have the Maddox. I have Oni. I have Ryan Sandborn. And I have Forgy Jenkins. I believe that's all I have right now. No. Yeah. Yeah, cool. I've been mean, working on it. Yeah. I'm definitely so working on it. My favorite card is going to be this Luis Robert first Bowman Chrome autograph. Um, I actually traded for this with a buddy um, after Sox Fest in, at McCormick Place this year. Um, he actually got this of Robert. I got a few autographs of him, but I focused on baseballs and pictures. So I actually traded from this for my buddy. I want to go follow CardShark47 on Instagram. Um, so I traded this with him. Uh, this is going to hopefully get submitted um, to get authenticated through PSA, just like uh, Justin's Justin's Greg Maddox. And um, this is a pretty cool card, and I think Robert's going to have a great year. So, again, another great buy for card collectors. Yeah. So that's all for this episode. Thank you so much for coming on. Yes, for sure. Thank you so much for having me. Um, it was a pleasure seeing all your cards and lots of fun. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Maybe we'll get you on for another episode sometime. Oh, yeah. For sure. Thank you. No problem. Thanks for coming on, man. Yep. Bye.